Hi everyone, welcome to Varco Kitchens. My name's Dale and today we're gonna to be going over the different worktop types that you can have for your kitchen. Okay, so we're gonna start off with Old Faithful, which is the um, old laminate worktop. Now, it used to be a terrible, had to have it product. Used to put a cup of tea on it that was too hot and you'd get a ring of death that would be unfixable. Um, used to be able to, if you made a mistake, and you cut without a chopping board, you're gonna wreck it. Now, those things can still happen, don't know how hot you like your tea, but these ones do have a far, far, far higher resistance to scratch and resistance to heat than they ever did. So whilst they are at the core end of the, the range for, for worktop surfaces, they also have much more durability than they ever did, so they're no means a bad choice. Uh, so you've got a couple of different choices. Um, Thickness-wise, you've got, um, your 38, 40 mil worktop that has been around for a long time. Um, we also have the addition of the 20 millimeter worktop now for people that want more of a slimline look. Um, profiles and edges have changed slightly over the years. Um, you've, got the, you've got the post formed edge here. And then on this one here, you have your square edge, which is becoming more and more popular. Um, both very good. Obviously this one is a complete wrap in the machine and has a seal underneath to make sure we don't have that letting go that they used to do. Uh, and then the cut and edge ones, a bit simpler, literally cut and edge, just like the, um, the doors we spoke about in an earlier video, um, but it does give you a much cleaner finish. Um, another thing that they're doing a lot more now with these kind of worktops is the, the texture, or what we call the surf on the top of the worktop, changes to suit the worktop you've picked. So if you pick an oaky one, it's gonna have the wood grain feel. If you pick a stone one, that's gonna give you the texture feel of stone, just to help give it, sell the believability a little bit more. Um, so yeah, that's your, that's your core starting point for worktops there. Um, there is not so much available, but there are gloss versions as well. Um, in the kitchen world, whilst they do look super cool, I must say that you really need to be careful with these because the ability to scratch gloss is just as easy as it ever was. So if you do want it, make sure you know the knock-on effects of making that choice. Um, then moving on to the, probably the most popular these days is we've got quartz worktops now. So quartz um, used to be uh, like granite, um, a very, very expensive thing that only people who wanted to put a massive investment into their kitchen could have, but it really has come down a lot based on what it used to be. Um, comes in two thicknesses normally. Um, you've got uh, 20 mil, which I've got here, and then you've got 30 mil, which obviously is a little bit bigger. Um, it gives you much more flexibility in what sort of choice you can have, um, what sort of um, sink you can have, because uh, it lets you finish to an end. Um, whereas laminate, once you cut it, you, you, this edge here can't be made good. So it does give you some restrictions. Um, with quartz, um, it's, it's very hard wearing. Um, it's very scratch resistant compared to laminate. Obviously they all have their downsides, but, um, but it's a, a definitely a solid choice. Um, this one here um, has been done to give that marbling effect, um, something that didn't used to happen, but now it does, which is pretty cool. Um, and this is more of a traditional quartz, uh, which is where you've got that glass sparkle. Um, so again, both available um, in many different ranges. A um, little note on something that has been uh, very popular recently, we've had a lot of calls about it. This is something called compact laminate. Now it's, um, essentially a very thin 12 and a half millimeter worktop. Now, some people love it, some people hate it. Um, from my background as a kitchen installer, um, this is a lot more labor intensive than most people realize. So if you really want a thin worktop, that's, that's for you guys to decide. But price wise, once you allow for the extra labor involved because it's very involved product, um, you're actually basically at quartz price, which in my mind means that you should go for the better product if you can. Uh, but it is definitely an available product. Um, one that I haven't got a sample of here, which is probably the last one, is that you obviously do as well have your solid oak choices. Um, walnut, um, bamboo, that sort of thing. There's, there's a lot available. Um, that is, uh, again, a natural product. Um, it will live and breathe with your kitchen. Um, it uh, needs a bit more care and attention than these guys, but it's definitely another option that you could have.